Hey guys, I'm John from Legacy Woodworking Machinery and today I'm here with Andy. Hey guys. Okay. We're going to talk a little bit more as a follow up to our last conversation about um, the power of some more of the, more of the issues that, that have come up since then. Had a client, had a, a comment come out about, you know, what does it really cost? You know, the machine may be seven fifty an hour, but what are the other costs involved? Um, tell me a little bit more about that. Well, first of all, uh, that's a really good question. We probably should have thought about that when we were bragging it only costs seven fifty an hour because yeah. there are other costs. Yeah. So we'll talk about them. So the main cost is probably going to be your power. Yes. So that machine pulls when it's fully loaded and working hard, vacuum system on, mm -hmm. holding your part down, it pulls 30 amps. Okay. Now the difference between this and many systems is this is designed for a small shop. You had a guy this morning that was going to run it in his garage. In his garage. So yeah. he obviously doesn't have commercial three-phase power. Yeah. So we build our machines. We can go three-phase, but most of them are built with single-phase power, and they draw 30 amps. So if we do the math, that ends up about 6.6 .6 kilowatts. Okay. In America, the average price, and your, your area might be different, but the average price per, co per kilowatt is 19 cents. So if I do the math to run the power on this machine, is it going to cost me a buck and a quarter? So seven fifty and a buck and a quarter. I'm still under ten bucks an hour, but there's still other costs. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the other things that I'm going to have to spend out of pocket? Ratter bits. Um, okay. The one time cost, of course, is going to be getting the air compressor, getting it running as well. Okay. Yeah, you may not have a compressor if you if you want to go with an automatic tool change machine like yeah. the one we're sitting in front of. Automatic tool change requires pneumatics. Yeah. Takes air pressure, about 100 PSI, to switch the tools out. So you've got to have a pretty good size compressor. I run a big five horsepower, three phase compressor. It pulls 40 amps. So it costs more than the machine to run. It costs more to run my compressor than this whole machine when it's cutting up my sheet goods oh, or cow. doing my turnings or do, doing any of the other jobs that I'm doing. So you will need air and the air has to be dry. So what's it going to cost to dry the air? You, you work with people on that. Yeah, a good air dryer, ones that I recommend, is about $1,300 and it's a one-time cost and just runs on 110. Okay, and it pulls about an amp and a half out of the wall. Yeah. It's just a tiny refrigeration unit that yep. chills the air, cleans it up, keeps it dry mm -hmm. before it gets to your machine. Air or water in the in the air can cause rusting and problems with the internal parts of the of the spindle. Do a lot of damage in a big hurry. So you want to run if you're going to run automatic tool change. You've got to have a good compressor and a dryer. Yeah. Okay. So those are your other costs. Mm -hmm. So operating costs pretty small on the dryer. Significant on a compressor if you get one as big as mine. But I'm running my entire shop, my spray, everything on my five horsepower. But even with that one, you're probably about a buck fifty, really at forty amps. So yeah. not too much. So so we're looking at still probably around ten bucks an hour. Just under ten. That's not bad. So once the machine's paid for after that sixty month lease, then the machine cost really goes down quite a bit and it ends up just about two dollars an hour. Yeah, between two and three bucks an hour, we know power is going to cost more. Yeah. But if you plan into the future, look into the future and you know that once my lease is paid off. What this thing costs to, to set up and, and run cabinets or run, I build toy boxes and, and other kind of cabinets and stuff mm -hmm. for my grandkids on mine. Uh, I mean, it's going to cost me about three bucks an hour. Three that's, bucks an hour is pretty great. That's not too bad at all. Other than that, you really are not going to need much more than, are you going to have enough space? Yeah. And, and that's the nice thing about the machine is that it's a combination machine and really small footprint. Uh, again, the, the, the two gentlemen who came in this morning were looking at renting a big space for their shop. But after coming in, seeing the power of the 4x8, they actually went back and decided to just start in their garage and get a space a little bit later down the road. Well, that's a nice way to start a business. Uh, that's one of the reasons we talked about in the last conversation we had about the lease. The lease mm -hmm. lets you start with the first month's rent, yep. or not rent, but your lease payment. But you also have this deal right now going that you can essentially not pay anything for six months. Yeah. So now I have, if he, they're working in their garage, there's very, there's no shop space, no rent. Yep. They're down to about 10 bucks an hour on the machine as far as operating. Um, man, it's a pretty cheap startup business. It so, is. Not bad. Very cool. 
Okay, we talked last time about, uh, we were gonna talk about pricing. We're gonna have to come back to that because we've taken up a little too much time. But if you have any more questions, we love the questions and the comments. So if you have any questions, throw them into the comments after you've watched the video, and then we'll respond to them as quickly as we can. Very well, thank you so much for taking the time with us today. Really do appreciate it again. Remember to like, comment, please throw those comments down below. We'd love to answer those questions. And check out our new website at Legacy Woodwork.